Oh, hey, how are you doing? It's been a while, specifically 25 days and one hour exactly, but who's counting? Now, have I been traveling, gallivanting, picking up stories and lovers? Have I been tucked away writing, creating, filming in order to feel the burning passion of artistry? No, no, I've been working. That's, that's literally it, I just had to work more. <laughs> On top of a busy schedule, I also have horrible time management and I just spend my off days in bed. Do you want to know what I did yesterday at work? I scrubbed human feces off, off of someone's bed sheets. I, I also picked it up as it feels dog poop off of a bathroom floor. So. <laughs> but even in the midst of a busy schedule, I still managed to wake up each and every day. Uh, ooh, not each and every day. <laughs> I still manage to wake up and serve. Also, I'm wearing boxer briefs. No need to be alarmed. No, I'm, not, I'm not flashing yet. I'm not flashing yet. Whether it's a summer trip to Montreal, driving up to the beach to see my friends, uh, sprawling out on the park in the grass. That sentence was not grammatically correct. Or going to the grocery store to buy my fourth jar of cookie butter this in the past three months. I, I, hey, hey, I'm serving here. Hey, I'm serving. Hey, I'm serving. Yeah. Get it? Because it's like, hey, I'm walking here. So, anyway, these are just a few of the outfits that I wore this summer. I call this just this quintessential summer outfit. Listen, I don't want things that are too tight, hugging me, clinging to my bare flesh. You wanna know why? Because I sweat and I sweat profusely. If the devil himself came down on earth, obtained a physical form, told me that I could sell my soul in order to just like never, ever, ever sweat again and just appear dry and powdery and feminine 24 seven, would I take him on that deal? No, no, that's no, that's absolutely ridiculous. No, but I would consider it. Look at these shoes. That's not the point yet, but just look at them. The shirt that I'm wearing is in fact thrifted. It also, in fact, is not mine. So I'm doing this thing this summer where I unintentionally pack my friends' clothes when I go to see them and like when I leave. I'm not doing it on purpose. What? Okay. Probably my balls dropped. Hang on. I don't know why I said that. My string just came undone. I don't know if balls drop was a good joke. If I try to be too intentionally funny. Not funny, never funny. Anyway, for 4th of July weekend, I went to the beach and I wore my friend Mary Grace's shirt the weekend and I accidentally packed it because I took it off like on her couch, right? My book bag that I packed myself was also on my couch. So when I was leaving, I just, I was just stuffing. I was just, and then I came home and I realized, oh, one of these things is not like the other, but I gotta say it's a pretty awesome shirt. Very light, very airy, and it's perfect for the hot, hot months of the summer. Hot summer, uh, hot, hot, no, no, no. All the summer I've been pairing this shirt either with these shorts that I got from Mango in Paris about two years ago when I visited and I snagged them for about six euros or, 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 or this virtually shapeless circle skirt that I thrifted from a vintage store in Songsu. It's called Me You. I will wear this combo to death. Along with my favorite sock and shoe combo, this, I am wearing boxer briefs, so. If I flashed you would stop my underwear. It it technically is, but they're just they're just boxer briefs, okay? Just boxer briefs. Anyway, like I was saying, this sock and shoe combo, best one of the year. Best one of the year to buy. <sighs> Why am I like out of breath? I'm like literally out of breath. This is ridiculous. Like from what? Staying in place? Are you joking me? Anyway, I've really been liking pairing these gorgeous like ballerina flats that tie across the foot with just plain like ankle white socks. So sweet. I feel like a fairy. I feel like I should be living in a muffin or like a peach. I feel like I should be building, operating and completely living in, you know, like that like strawberry shortcake land where those kids just like live in houses of fruit completely unsupervised. I, I want to go to this. <laughs> I want to go to it. My mom bought the entire season of That's Harbor Shortcake on DVD. I would watch that and like cry that I couldn't live there by myself in like a in like a cake house, in like a peach house. Are these supposed to be a knockoff of the Nicole Saldana flat that are gorgeous, but $400? Yes, yeah, they are. I saw them on an Instagram shop, was immediately prepared to buy them. Nothing could prepare me for the price that was $400. The wave of shock that I felt, indescribable. It's almost like the wave of shock that I felt when I found out that Ned Fillmore was cheating on his wife. <laughs> it's not funny. It's it's not funny. So, so uh, <laughs> 2022, right? right, right, right crazy, crazy year. Um, anyway, I don't have $400 to spend on a shoe. I just don't. But God knows I wish I did. I will one day, okay? I'm speaking it into existence. I'm speaking thousands of dollars to burn on designer shoes into existence. Now, this next outfit, I could not find for the life of me. I, I, 
I can't find them. I can't find them, unfortunately. They're, I can't find these overalls. And I fear that I may have... No, no, no. The last time I had them was Montreal. I don't know where they are. I don't know where they are. I don't know where they are. I'm going crazy. I don't know where those shoes are. I mean, uh, 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 God. So I'm going to stand perfectly still and put a picture of the outfit on the screen right now. Am I, am I your mother? Is it giving your mother who wore overalls and beautiful voluminous hair in the 90s in college and somehow managed to date your dad who was, she was completely out of his league. Completely. Your gross, ugly dad. Someone managed to pull your mom. Am I giving your mom? Am I giving mom? No, mommy. There is always going to be something so simple yet meaningful about like a plain white tank top and overalls and shoes. Maybe because that is like the most simple outfit that I have ever heard of in my entire life. But anyway, I don't really know what I was trying to get at there. But do I feel a bit like a child when I wear this outfit? Yes. But as long as I don't wear something like pigtails, I'm, I'm okay. We're okay. My arm is really starting to hurt. I can't. I like to pair this outfit with my Onitsuka Tiger sneakers, also known as my Harris Teeter shoes. Um, my friends call them my Harris Teeter shoes because they make fun of me whenever I wear them because they say it looks like they're shoes that apparently Harris Teeter employees should wear. So I personally don't see it. I love those shoes and I think they're haters and they should go to hell. Oh, the sneakers, everyone. The, the Harris Teeter sneakers, alive in the flesh, alive in the flesh. This outfit says, of course I summer in Montenegro. <laughs> what do you take me for? You know, a true talented Mr. Ripley core. All I have to do now is fall in love with my best friend and then kill him. <laughs> The film's been out for 23 years, okay? Give me a break. Oh, you wanna know what I saw last week? I saw this TikTok being like, interested in the new upcoming hot girl, uh, 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 hot girl, sexy girl shoe. Move over, Adidas Samba, Reebok, the Onitsuka Tigers are gonna be the new it girl shoe. And I was like, no, no, no! <laughs> Take whatever you want from me. <laughs> Not my Asics, please. I can't have one thing. I can't have this one thing. So you're gonna be that selfish? Are you serious? I want those shoes to remain low key so that when I wear them, my individuality complex is fueled, and I could just have a massive ego. Okay? Is that what you want to hear? <laughs> I am kidding, partially, but I don't think I'm alone in the fact that like when I see a sneaker plastered all over the internet, and I can walk outside and see like 15 people wearing the exact same shoe. I don't want it anymore. Like, I don't want to buy it anymore. I don't want to wear it anymore. I always giggle. I'm always tickled pink whenever I see someone comment like, no, gatekeep this on an item or like an artist that's already very well known. But <sighs> please, you guys. Okay, I don't know who I have to contact for this. I, I'm going to make some kind of brigade. Um, if you see anyone wearing these shoes on the street, I want you to shoot them in the head. As a matter of fact, whenever someone comments on like a video of TikTok being like, oh, what shoes are those? Oh, what shoes are those? I will simply not reply. You wanna know what shoes they are? Oh, so, uh, oh, uh, sorry. Sorry, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Sorry, I actually just bought the last pair of shoes on this entire planet. Sorry, 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 the designer just died and said he's not gonna make any more shoes. Sorry, sorry, the last building that made these shoes actually just burned down. Oh my God, oh my God. A few hours later and the sun did go down. Let's 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 bring some light let's let's jazz it up what am i trying to say here let's brighten things up a little bit shall we what are we thinking daylight no regular white okay soft white a bit too yellow regular white it is pov you see me sitting at the bar drinking not a beer not a cocktail but cider in a wine glass that is honest to god just spiked apple juice and you come over and try to talk to me and slip your fingers like underneath my dress uh like near my knee not like inside my hole oh sorry mm -mm. not tonight babe no not tonight no not not tonight i'm sorry i'm wearing pants they're pants i'm wearing pants not tonight babe i'm sorry Better luck next time. Thank you though, thank you. This is what I wear generally to something like a bar because I think it's beautiful, I think it's elegant, but most of all, I think it's comfortable. Not a single flash in sight. I, I'm, I am in no way exposed. I could do a cartwheel on a dance floor if I really wanted to. I would, I would never do that, I would never do that. Um, well, no, I never do that, I never do that. Well, 
No, this dress is from Urban Outfitters. It belongs to the brand Sister Jane. I looked up their website. They make some of the most beautiful dresses ever. Look at these bows, man. Look at these bows. This dress was originally my college graduation dress. It's just way too beautiful. So I've been wearing them either on its own, you know, as a little like fun party. Actually, this would be like a great on its own, but without the pants, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know, I have issues. I just like to wear my pants. I either wear it on its own or with these balloon pants that I thrifted and my Zoe Saldana dudes. Other reasons why I love this dress. A straight neckline, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm gonna eat it up. I love how thick the straps are. I love how long the straps are. Like, I... oh, that wasn't very. It's dramatic, it's ridiculous. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Other shoe combos that I love to pair with this outfit. These sandals that look like the quintessential African Caribbean dad uncle shoe. Yeah. Or these, my platform docks, just, you know, makes it all the more edgy. It's like I'm wearing a dress that has ribbons and I'm wearing pants with it, but I'm also wearing docks. What the hell kind of look am I going for? You'll never know. My wind muff is doing the doggy tonight. Like, what? Why? Are you kidding me? Like, it's a beanie. Like, are you joking? Um, another outfit that I like to wear to the club. I am the girl who pulls up to the bar or the club in a button down. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I do. Look at this outfit. It's adorable. Look at it. It's but never a blazer. I never wear blazers for a club, okay? I'm not crazy. Also, I don't go to the club. What am I saying? More like a bar where I go to dress up. I get a few drinks. I violently gossip with my friend. Violently. Just nothing's off the table. Just 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 get slightly tipsy because i i don't like the feeling of being drunk anymore and then probably go home i should probably put my hair down so i look like like an actual girl business casual chic i just happened to get off work and i'm getting a drink with the girls are you kidding me listen in my head it's super fine to have such a full coverage piece up top when in fact you're pairing it with a super tiny skirt <laughs> i don't like to show my my upper half specifically chest and boob region yuck but my lower half is totally fair game it's free real estate i call it just from new girl core a simple sexy casual sleigh a bolero a shrug whatever you want to call it i love it you call this a micro trend i call this this will be in my closet forever never and ever these are for the girls who hate showing their arms it's not that i hate my arms well i do but I think a plain tank top is just so like boring. I think adding something like a bolero brings a lot more texture and juxtaposition and la da 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 da, contrived fashion term, la dee 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 dee. Also helps if you're like me and I haven't shaved your armpits in over two months. <laughs> I'm just so dainty and feminine. Another simple sexy sleigh. Would it be an outfit that I'm wearing if it's not majority like all black? No, but it's okay because this outfit has texture. Look, I really love this maxi dress, not only because it's comfortable, but it has these like really cool pleats. So it's not just like a plain maxi dress. It's like a, like a cool, different maxi dress. And because I personally find like this icky and just like too much, I like to pair it with a short sleeve blouse thing. I, I feel like someone's mom when I'm wearing this. Like I feel like a 90s mom. Um, and I say that in the worst way. I don't like, I, I, I don't like that. I don't like that. But the outfit is just, it's just too darn cute. It's so comfortable. Have you seen that thing that's like dressed like your type? First of all, I'm not dressed like my type because I don't know what my type is, okay? I have zero sense of self when it comes to romantic context. Who am I? What do I like? Beats me. This shirt is thrifted Calvin Klein. The vest is thrifted. Pants are Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex? I would mansplain everything. I would mansplain the hell out of everything. I wanna say this this thing is a computer science major, but <sighs> absolutely not the case, okay? We know computer science majors don't shower. Design, architecture, photography, who knows? I'd be a living nightmare. Whatever they are, they're awful. And that's how I feel when I wear an outfit like this. I feel awful in the best way. I feel like this. What does it feel like to be an elitist New York piece of shit? It feels awesome. Thank you. Believe it or not, this is in fact a playset, which I think just means that they're pajamas. I got it a few years ago off of Depop um, and it was like $12. No, it was like $8. Yeah, it was $8. Does this look a little bit silly? Sure, sure, why not? Sure. But is it whimsical? Is it comfortable? Is it childlike? Is it fun? 
you betcha. A lot of the summer I've been just throwing this on with a pair of white socks and some sneakers when I'm going to the park or going grocery shopping or getting the mail, who knows, whatever. Admittedly, there is a lot going on with this set, so preferably I'd like to wear them with just like white plain socks and plain white sneakers, but I don't have plain white sneakers. No, I do. I have like my Reeboks club seeds, but I don't like those anymore and I just wear them to work. So these will have to do. My hair is teeter shoes that I'm gatekeeping. Those are all the outfits I wore this summer. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week. Or will I? No, I'm kidding. No, I will see you next week. I'll be, I will be uploading next week. No, I think. No, that. I, who knows? Actually, it's a guessing game. I will be here next week. I'll see you next week. I hope you are here next week as well. Okay. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye bye now. Don't get, don't get it. Bye bye now. Bye. Bye. It looks so blue outside. Bye. Bye now.